Having extended their winning streak to six games in round five, Melbourne United look to continue their hot form. Dean Vickerman joined the Extra Pass podcast, breaking down his side's success and the feeling after winning his 300th NBL game as a head coach. You know, when you look at rewards as a coach, you um, you like to see players progress. Yeah, championships are always you know reward for for the hard work. You'd like to see coaches you know progress in their career, and so I think they're the the great rewards to seeing you know people advance. One player who shone across United's pair of round five games was Luke Travers, with the young star averaging ten points and twelve rebounds per game. The forward joined Andrew Gaze and Andy Marr during the week, touching on what it's been like playing in Melbourne alongside Chris Golding. Comes in every day, um, gives it his all, and when you, you know, have that sort of mentality of, um, you know, not having games affect uh, the way that you, you know, shoot the ball and have that mentality going into each game is, um, yeah, just a huge um, testament to, you know, what he's about. This led into a blockbuster home game against Travers' former side, the Perth Wildcats, in front of over 10,000 fans at John Kane Arena as part of the league's Indigenous round on Monday night. Unfortunately for Melbourne, the home side fell short of victory in overtime and will now look to regroup heading into Throwdown 22 on Sunday against South East Melbourne. While this Throwdown will be an away game for United, the only way to make sure you don't miss any of Melbourne's remaining home games is by becoming a member today.